Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I already made a video today. I did my thong haul. So if you guys didn't already check that out, you definitely should. Um, but I'm actually going to be reviewing in this video our Dr. Broner's All One Hemp Rose Rose Pure Castile Bar Soap. So back to essentials, right? And um, you guys know I love to show you guys scenes so you guys can get a close-up as I'm talking about all the products that I review. So here goes some scenes. Hey guys, what's up? So tonight I'm going to be using the Dr. Broner's All One Hemp Rose Pure Castell Bar Soap. And it's been a while since I've used a bar soap, so I'm actually kind of excited tonight. I get to revert back to some old ways um, and, you know, slowly getting out of the holiday season and things like that. I really wanted to jumpstart my skin, rejuvenate my skin, and also get rid of a lot of acne that's been popping up in different areas, which I think has also been triggered by just changing up my soap a lot in the past few months and using some different things that are still, I think, all good for my skin, but my skin needs some serious nourishment, and that's when I go back to my doctor. Broners. I've used this soap before. I'm going to take it out of the packaging so then you guys can see it better. But the reason why I wanted to show you guys it with the packaging is because once I take this off, I mean, you're never going to see it like this again. But um, let's just go ahead and take this off though. And here we are. Here is the bar soap. And I think I'm probably going to start doing that now, showing you guys the packaging and stuff before I just like rip it off because. I understand that you guys don't really get to see it how would I like I buy it um, which I think is like really important so you guys really get that you know experience like if you were buying it but this is what it looks like it has the all one engraved on the front which I think is totally dope as hell and also on the back but upside down because I flipped it um, so yeah it fits pretty awesome in our soap container pretty true to the size of the soap container and it smells really rosy kind of like a rose kind of quartz type of mm, ish I don't really know if that was like a good way of describing the scent but I do smell that rose in there and um, it does smell good nice you know so I'm excited to use the soap I'm excited to start using a bar soap again so we'll just have to see how this goes guys and there you have it you guys have seen the scenes of the soap so Dr. Broner's I actually talked about this soap didn't talk about this soap I actually used this soap I want to say probably close to a year ago um, but I've already used the Dr. Broner's Castile Bar soaps. I've never used the bath, um, the shower gels, which I know are really popular with people. And I've seen them a lot. The shower gels, I've seen them a lot. So um, I really want to try their shower gels because I heard they work awesome. A lot of people have said that it has helped their skin out a lot to utilize this brand and to use the essentials from Dr. Broner's. Um, and when a lot of people talk about Dr. Broner's products, they normally will talk about the shower gel because it's one of the most popular things that people use from them. Um, but I am now using their bar soap, which was in my soap container. And um, I was using this and I kind of alternated to a shower jelly that I'm going to review for you guys pretty soon. And this is a great soap to kind of have in your soap container, especially if you're somebody like me that does reviews, which kind of constantly means that I'm constantly trying different products because I'm reviewing things all the time. Um, but I really do love this Dr. Broner soap. And I'm so glad I'm doing this review because I have so many things to say about this soap that I really have never gotten the opportunity to talk like I didn't have the chance to talk about it at the time that I was using it before the first time so I'm gonna take this time to tell you guys everything I know about this soap and I don't have anything negative to say so there's nothing negative to say so don't expect me to say anything negative so this bar soap um, I got it from the Marshall's rack 
when I tried it and it doesn't really smell that great um, that's probably not positive right there that it doesn't smell great but the smell really doesn't matter because I'm gonna you know we're gonna talk about it but when I got this soap I got it from the Marshalls rack and when I saw it because you guys have to remember like when I started making soap videos I started with bar soaps and I've kind of opened up my inventory really really as of recently recently but I originally started with bar soaps so they usually do have the Dr. Broner's mm -hmm. shower gels at Marshalls as well at times um, but I was more interested in trying the bar soap because I was already accustomed to trying bar soaps and I already like bar soap so that was how I wanted to that was my version of trying this brand so I took the bar soap up for a challenge I used it and I think the first bar soap I used was not the rose bar soap I used the lavender bar soap so same bar soap same concept same everything just purple packaging because it was it was lavender you know scented um but it does the same thing it, it works the same way and it's the same bar of soap so this bar of soap this bar of soap it, it looks regular okay it's a simple bar of soap nothing sophisticated nothing wild no crazy colors nothing like that in the sense of it the scent doesn't smell like anything heavenly. It's not fluorescent. It's not feminine, masculine. It, it just is a bar of soap. It kind of smells waxy, almost like a castor oil kind of vibe with the scent. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of a waxy scent. But it's still light, nothing abrasive, nothing aggressive, nothing so bad, but it, you know, it doesn't really have really a, a scent. And when you do use it on your body, it doesn't, the scent of the soap doesn't stain. So it doesn't smell that great, but you don't really have to smell it on you when you get out. Um, probably because the scent isn't really the biggest thing. I mean, it says it's rose scented, which is why the packaging here is red. And if we are talking a little bit about the packaging more, sorry, I got to make sure I'm recording because I'm actually talking a lot in this video and I can hear myself, but there's so much to say about this soap. Um, it actually says that it's certified fair trade made with organic oils. The ingredients are organic coconut oil, organic palm oil, um, sodium hydroxide, water, organic olive oil, natural rose fragrance, organic hemp oil, organic Jehovah oil, sea salt, citric acid, tocopherol, don't know what that last thing is, but basically a lot of organic, you know, ingredients and things like that, which is why a lot of people also talk about this soap because they say it's healthy for their skin and it works and it does. Um, it really does work this soap getting into it actually what it does for the skin and things like that so when i use this soap i you know will take it palm it kind of rub it and get it to kind of suds up and lather i would say it has a pretty good lather um the uh, lather isn't like bubbles 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 of uh, abrasive aggressive but it has a pretty great lather like better than like decent like good lather so if you're somebody that is really into lather you will love this soap because it definitely lathers up. Um, I would say that it eats up pretty quickly. Okay, it's not going to last you forever, endeavor, endeavor, endeavor. It's not like, it, you see it's a bar soap and I still have a little bit left. But it's not like so thick that if you don't use it, like if you use this every day, I could see you probably getting close to the end of it. Maybe like two weeks two weeks and maybe a half if you really stretch it maybe three weeks but I mean and that might sound like a long time to someone but honestly soap can last you a really 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 long time and this is one of those soaps that just doesn't last a long time so don't buy it with the expectation that you if you really want this product to really be like a lot I would recommend just going and getting the shower gel and not even getting the soap because the soap will last you a little bit but it, it does end quickly so disclaimer this soap does kind of have like a short life to a certain extent but it's so 
worth it, okay? Had to get up to go and correct something really quickly. Sorry about that. But anyway, back to the soap. So what it did for my skin was this is... Uh, first of all, if you're traveling or if you're somebody that is like trying to get prepared for something, I don't know what the case may be. And you've used a lot of soaps like how I've used a lot of soaps. This is go-to for jump-starting your skin, taking away acne. Um, as far as dark marks or tummy stretches or, or, you know, stretch marks and stuff like that, I really haven't had much of observ observation with that because I feel like it's more of an acne remover and really works to clear up the skin. Like really remove like maybe dark marks and acne more so than like stretch marks and anything where the skin is actually stretched and, and needs you know to be like I don't even know how I want to say it like but it doesn't really do too much with stretch marks like it might but I don't really have that many stretch marks like I have stretch marks but then I also have other products other lotions and solutions and stuff like that so that's really harder to gauge with this soap but you know what I'm just gonna say that it is it, it's, it's all one I mean that's what it's called it's all one you know it does everything I'm pretty sure it's great for stretch marks it does have skin tightening agents in there it does tighten the skin it's kind of like a nice detox y'all I feel like I'm everywhere with this description but you know what I'm trying to say it's really good for the skin I think one of the things I noticed immediately was that it was great at taking off acne like so reliable and you know there's a lot of soaps that will claim that they're gonna do this to your skin do that to your skin um this soap doesn't even have all those claims, but it does. It, it really just is great for your skin. It detoxes your skin. This soap is awesome. I definitely recommend this soap if you're looking to jumpstart your skin, if you're looking to remove acne, if you're looking to just detox and just jumpstart your skin for whatever reason you're traveling. It's a new season. It's a new year. You're going on a date or whatever the case may be. And I love Dr. Broner's bar soap. Now, because I am so knowledgeable of all its wonders and everything that it does, it's easier to kind of keep it in my soap container and try other things and then kind of come back to it. Because kind of using a bar soap to the very end, I mean, I've done that several times. I mean, that's a majority of my soap reviews. I do use my products for a significantly long time. And some products that I tell you guys that I don't have the opportunity to review at the time, it does help me out because now I have that experience and I can tell you more about a product, especially if it's a repurchase, you know? So I would definitely buy this. It's natural. It's definitely not super expensive if you're getting it from the Marshalls Rack. This soap does great things for the skin and it's it's just honestly all together it's just such a great investment and like I was saying when I'm using other things maybe if I'm using a new shower gel after I'm done reviewing that I can just freshen my skin up for the next product that I'm getting ready to review and it's really great for that in between time it doesn't agitate my skin in fact it helps my skin to get better for whatever product that I'm going to put on top of my skin um, so I'm definitely going to be wise with using this out because I just know it does so much good for the skin and I highly recommend it I really do like this bar soap and I really want to get into their shower gels this has encouraged me to try more of their products so I hope this wasn't all over the place and I hope you guys kind of got a general consensus of how I feel about the product and also got your information also it breaks dirt well um, which means it's a great clean. I mean, such a great clean. I don't think I'm dry, but I do moisturize my skin after using this soap because depending on your skin type, you might get dried out. You might not get dried out. I think it's pretty moderately moisturizing. It does have that coconut oil in there, which is great for moisturizing, replenishing the skin and bringing that skin back to its plumpness so it is good at that and I don't feel dried out definitely not streaky dried not dried out um, 
but it, it breaks dirt very good. I, I get such a fresh clean. It's amazing. So that's another thing I wanted to say about this. But yeah, I hope you guys got all your questions answered. You guys know how my reviews go. I try to say as much as I can. But sometimes I don't hit everything that you guys want to know. I have been seeing more comments. I want to say thank you guys for interacting with me. And that really helps me give you guys the best information that I can about all the products I review. So please do not shy away from the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next video.